server hopping, DDoS protection, getting geo-restricted content. Oh yeah, there are many benefits to using an Xbox VPN, but it's not as easy as just downloading an app like you would on a PC or mobile device. So today, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of setting up a gaming VPN and then reveal my best Xbox VPN 2022 picks while we're at it. Okay, so how to set up a VPN on Xbox One? Well, there's no way to install a VPN app directly, so we're gonna need a workaround. Oh, good news, I've got two. Option one, setting up a VPN connection on a router. But be warned, the setup part can be a bit of a hassle, and that's because every router is different and not all of them support a VPN connection. Just like not every VPN supports a router setup. So to get started, you're gonna need to sit down and well, you're gonna have to do a little research. Who supports what and what are the best VPN providers to use in this case? Yeah, like I said, it's a little bit of a hassle. But we also have a whole video dedicated to this sort of thing, so I'll link that in the description and in the comment section as well. Now, once you figure out the router setup part, learning how to use a VPN on Xbox One is just a matter of connecting your Xbox to said router. However, this method has some drawbacks. Changing the servers can get complicated, and on top of that, all the devices within your network will go through the same VPN connection. So that's not ideal if you often switch between different VPN providers, like when you're accessing different GeoBlock content. But overall, setting up a VPN on a router works pretty good as a VPN Xbox solution, just not as well as I'd like it to. And that brings us to option two of how to get a VPN on Xbox One, sharing a VPN connection from a Windows device. And before all of my Mac folks out there start waving their fist in the comments, look, the sad truth is sharing a VPN connection from Mac OS just doesn't work in this case, which is due to the limitations of Mac itself. Yeah, it's a bummer, but you'll just need a Windows device for this particular solution. Now, if or when you have that covered, there are two ways to share your VPN connection from a Windows device, wirelessly or using an ethernet cable. Hmm, this cable is way less complicated, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna show you how to use Surfshark VPN on Xbox by connecting your console through the ethernet cable. For tutorial purposes, I've set up Surfshark. I mean, after all, it is among my best VPN for gaming online picks, mostly for its great speeds and unlimited device connections deal. But no matter what your Xbox One VPN choice is, the general setup is about the same. To start, make sure you have your best Xbox VPN 2022 choice installed and ready to go. My best console VPN recommendation are NordVPN and Surfshark, but other great providers like IPVanish and PureVPN will also do the trick. So just pick your tool. And if you don't have a VPN yet, well, then check the best VPN deals down in the description. Everyone should probably check those out actually. Go, let's look at them. Okay, now that I've said that, hopefully you're still watching. Hmm. Well, it's not enough to just pick the best Xbox VPN. Yeah, you're also gonna need that ethernet cable. There you go. All right, now we're ready to go. First, on the Windows toolbar, right click the connection icon. That's gonna be either Wi-Fi or wired depending on, well, your connection. And again, I go with wired. Once this table pops up, once again, click on either the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet tab. From here, if I scroll down a little, there's the Change Adapter Options setting. If you click on it, you'll see a window just like this. It shows all the network adapters connected to your device. The next step is to configure the VPN adapter. My Surfshark adapter is called Ethernet 2, which is how it usually is on most devices. Right-click on that, and you should see Properties. Click that as well. Now, in the pop-up window, go to the sharing section, choose Ethernet in this drop-down menu, and also mark the Allow Other Network Users to Connect box. Click OK, and then get out of the network settings. Now, I need to configure the settings in my Surfshark app, and you're gonna need to do the same with your VPN settings. So, let's open up the app and go to Settings. Click on Advanced, and then among the tunneling protocols, I'd choose OpenVPN, UDP. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this VPN connection thing won't work with WireGuard. It's a bummer. But that's why it's especially important to pick a speedy Xbox VPN. And that's exactly why I'm using Surfshark today. 
Though, to be fair, in OpenVPN protocol standards, NordVPN actually has slightly faster performance. Okay, so anyway, once you're done with settings, establish a VPN connection to a server of your choice, then take your ethernet cable, connect it to the console, and ba-bam! That's how you set up Surfshark VPN for Xbox. Now you can fully enjoy your Xbox One VPN benefits. And in case you're confused about why you would even need an Xbox VPN, well, let's do a quick review on how to get the most out of your Xbox One VPN. The benefits start with server hopping. Whether you want to check out some exclusive game deals or just simply play on foreign servers, a VPN for Xbox is a great solution. Providers on the best VPN for gaming lists usually have tons of servers to choose from. Both Nord and Surfshark cover over 60 countries, and if you need more, well then PureVPN has around 78. But the most important thing for a VPN is data protection. If you cross the wrong player, well you can find yourself in the crosshairs of a DDoS attack. These days, it costs less than a used car to organize one. And I'm not kidding, these attacks are really getting out of hand in recent years. And since I'd rather avoid stuff like this, a VPN is a no-brainer for me. Once my connection is safely encrypted, I can breathe easy. That said, here are some things to look out for when searching for the best Xbox VPN. Make sure that they're offering at least the AES 256-bit encryption. I also check to see if the VPN has an audited no-logs policy, since I don't want my data to be collected or sold. All of the best VPN for gaming candidates I've mentioned, Surfshark, IPVanish, PureVPN, and NordVPN, all check those boxes. Plus, Nord and Surfshark have RAM-only servers, which are physically incapable of storing any data at all. So, pick a reliable provider, don't forget to check their speeds, and always look at that price-to-value ratio. Most providers these days have very affordable offerings. So yes, getting a VPN for Xbox may not be the easiest task out there, but it is super useful. Besides gaming, you can use it for more stuff, like streaming for Netflix libraries, hint, hint. And if you need to find out more about all that, well, click on the subscribe button. And if you want to check out some exclusive best VPN for Xbox One 2022 deals, click on that box, or get started by clicking through your network settings to set up your Xbox VPN. All right, good luck to you all, and I'll see you all in the next one.